All right, guys, what's up? And welcome to Rare Pepe Tutorials. And in this series of videos, I'm gonna take you through everything you need to know to get started with Rare Pepe. So we'll start out by talking about how to set up your Rare Pepe wallet. We'll show you how to add Bitcoin to your Rare Pepe wallet. We'll show you how to use that Bitcoin to hit the dispensers to buy your first card, and then also to buy Pepe Cash and XCP so that you can buy cards right off of rarepepewallet.com. We're gonna also show you how to use Free Wallet and we're gonna show you how to take your cards and wrap them using Emblem Vault so you can sell them on OpenSea and also how to unwrap them using Emblem Vault so if you buy a card on OpenSea, you can put it back into your Rare Pepe wallet. So what do you think? You know, Let me know down in the comments if you wanna see additional topics. We'll try to work them in as well. Always looking to get feedback. You know, Is this, is this series hitting the mark? I know you probably won't know that till you get deeper in the series. So uh, let's, let's get into it here. Uh, but just before we do, I also wanna remind everybody that what I'm showing in this tutorial series is a little bit more complicated uh, than where you might wanna get started. If you're just getting into the world of Rare Pepes, I encourage you to take a look at our other videos, The Absolute Beginner's Guide, where we show you you how all you need is MetaMask and an OpenSea account and you can start buying Pepe's right away. So if you want to just, you know, do a, an absolute beginner's walkthrough, take a look at those videos. But if you want to learn a little more about what's going on with Xchain.io and what's going on with the DEX and just kind of some other ways of buying and selling rare Pepe's, stick around because that's what we're going to cover in this tutorial series. So with that, let's get into video one, part one, how to create a rare Pepe wallet. So for this tutorial series, I wanted you to be able to really follow along click by click. So I decided to just create a new build of Windows 10 and do everything live, or at least do as much as possible live here. Uh, this first episode, this first video is going to be really straightforward. We're just going to show you how to go to rarepepewallet.com and make a new wallet. Uh, but I think it's important to start off on the right foot. So let's see how it's done here. We'll go to Google. We'll search for Rare Pepe Wallet. Enter and then look for the very first hit here, rarepepewallet.com. Now, the first time you log in, what you're going to see is that there will be a new wallet has been created for you. And then you'll be presented with this list of words. This is your passphrase. This is very important to write down. So grab this entire passphrase, write it down. Don't copy and paste it into a text document. Just write it down somewhere that it's going to be safe that you can get back to it. And the reason that's important is because if your computer ever crashes, if you ever have a, a catastrophic failure of your computer, uh, you're going to need this passphrase to recover access to your Rare Pepe wallet. Similarly, if you were to jump to a different computer, you can use this passphrase and then you'll be able to access your Rare Pepe wallet from that computer. So make sure that you write that down. Very important. And the way that you utilize the recovery phrase is you go down here to advanced down at the bottom. So, you know, once you have that written down, you could go to a different computer and you could make sure that you wrote it down properly by going down here to advanced. And when you click advanced, you can choose here to enter an existing passphrase. And the way that you would enter that existing passphrase is you would type in the first word, press space, type in the next word, space, and so on. And so if you entered that passphrase correctly, when you choose continue, you should see the same wallet address as you previously had. So for example, if you're going to a second computer to test this, you should see the same wallet address here on both computers. Now, the first time you log into rarepepewallet.com, you won't be using the recovery phrase. You'll just be writing it down. I just wanted you to see how you can test that to make sure that you wrote it down correctly. But that is your Rare Pepe wallet address. Um, you are now set up. You officially have an address. So we're ready to start buying cards, right? So we'll go down to one of these cards and we'll flip it over. And it says, buy, sell with XCP, buy, sell with Pepe Cash. All right, well, let's go up here to the upper right to the little wallet icon, the little dollar icon. And let's look here and we can see, hmm, zero, zero, zero. We don't have any money in this wallet. So we're going to need to load up this wallet before we're ready to start buying Rare Pepe's. So that's gonna do it for part one of our Rare Pepe tutorial series. Uh, very straightforward, but I wanted to make sure that you got off on the right foot when it comes to creating a Rare Pepe wallet. Make sure that you capture that passphrase and make sure that you test it. And that way you can write that down, put it in your safe, and you'll know that in the future you can get back to accessing your Rare Pepe wallet. 
Come on back for part two. In part two, we're going to show you how to add some Bitcoin to that Rare Pepe wallet so that you can start making your first Rare Pepe purchases.